a concept ground vehicle, a brand new straight to flyable ship, the new Lorville Skyline, and much more has been discovered in the files for 3.19, which is currently in Ivocati. Hello folks, Space Tech here, and I just wanted to make a quick video going over everything we know about the current 3.19 Ivocati patch. There's a lot to cover here, so feel free to jump around to sections that interest you the most. Starting off with Invictus Fleet Week, the annual celebration of the UEE military and an opportunity for everyone to try out all the combat ships available in-game. From posters found in the game files, it looks as though Invictus will run from May 19th to the 30th, with those last three days also being host to the Drake Defense Con. Of course at Invictus, we also get a chance to look at ships that are still in concept through hollow viewers scattered throughout the show floor. It is here that we see a few new empty ones, the first being labeled the Tumbral Storm. Known for their ground vehicles, the Cyclone Buggy, Ranger Bike, and the Nova Tank, it is very likely that we see another vehicle from Tumbral here. At this point, we don't know what exactly the storm is going to be, but I wonder if we'll end up seeing a competitor for the medium-sized vehicles like the Ursa Rover or the upcoming Lynx. We also see that the SRV and Crusader Spirit still have hollow viewers present for them. This, along with their status on the progress tracker, would lend credence to the idea that they will not be in 3.19 and will not be ready in time for Invictus. I really do hope we at least see the SRV by the time IAE comes around, as racing picks up across Stanton through tournaments like the System 7 and Crux Cup, as well as new tracks introduced with 3.18, the value of pulling large debris using a tractor beam cannot be overstated. This brings us to the straight to flyable ship, the Misk Fury. We first heard of the Misk Fury on March 3rd when it was name dropped by a developer in passing during Star Citizen Live. At that point, we didn't have any information about it. Now, we see two entries in the code that refer to the Misk Fury. Interestingly enough, one of those entries is appended with the name Miru. This may point towards being a variant, similar to the Starfarer and the Starfarer Gemini. We would have the Misk Fury and the Fury Miru. We do know that the Fury has animations for 0G entry and exit, which points towards the Fury having an entrance like the Arrow or Gladius. This leads me to believe that the Misk Fury might be a single-seater ship. Of course, there may be multiple entrances, but it seems as though you will at least have an entrance straight into the pilot seat. In the code, we also do see reference to a ship known as the Siulin with an unknown manufacturer. The speculation that makes the most sense to me would be that the Siulin is a ship from Gatak, the alien manufacturer known for working on the Raylin. What makes this even more likely is that Siulin translates perfectly from Xi'an to fly without issue, the same way Raylin translates to carry without issue. With all of these vehicles, let me know in the comments what role you think each one will play. Moving on from Invictus and ships. The new rework of Lorville seems to already be playable and explorable from screenshots and videos that I've seen. I must say that the city looks fantastic, but it is worth keeping in mind that some screenshots still show the presence of untextured objects, so we may not see this as soon as 319, but hopefully soon after. Area 18 also seems to be getting a slight retouch as maps of the city were found. These maps may be part of a larger tutorial mission being implemented, as lots of tutorial text was found alongside a medal that you can earn for completing it. Other new mission content leaks point towards a data heist mission. There were item descriptions found like server terminal, intrusion terminal, and others. The description of these items lead me to believe that this may be a mission or even a game type for Star Marine, although that last part may simply be some wishful thinking for me. The Siege of Orson also looks like it may be receiving an update as new voice lines were found that make reference to unaffiliated and independent hostiles attacking the CDF. This may be the addition of PvP to the Siege of Orson mission. Another voice line that was found seems to dismiss the player from the Siege of Orson mission altogether, citing that they're making enough progress without you. This hints at some sort of player mission for dynamic events like this, or to prevent late joiners from being perpetually behind as they make their way through the platforms. Finally, there were mentions of what are most likely going to be sub-flare items in the form of three coffee mugs and some Banu dice, as well as a new hand mineable called Janelite. More excitingly, we also got a brief description of a smoke grenade meant to be used in FPS combat. Its values show a radius of 15 meters and a duration of 3 seconds, but like everything in this video, should be taken with a grain of salt, since these are leaks after all, and nothing is confirmed till CIG officially announces it. That is all the new information that was unearthed by the folks over at the SE Pipeline Discord. Please do like and or subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you're looking forward to the most in 3.19. Take care, and see you in the next one.